We've worked for Ski Beat for, it must be five seasons now. This is our fifth season. It's just gone so quickly though. Just so enjoyed it. So back at home, I studied catering and hospitality for four years. And then I decided that I wanted to kind of come to the front of house, um, but still wanted to do the cooking side. So hosting was brilliant. And I've gained a lot of confidence and interacting with the guests is probably the best part of my day, to be honest. Um, the reason I came to Ski Beat was because they seemed a company that would accept people of all sorts of different backgrounds and all sorts of different ages to be chalet hosts. Uh, I started uh, my seasons as a chalet host, I'd say that was my first, and then I've done three since then and sort of worked my way up. So it was a chalet host the first time, was a rep the next, was a resort manager, and then somehow managed to end up with a proper job, uh, but out here, which is fantastic. I have worked for three different companies in the Alps over about 13 years. Uh, I would only work for Ski Beat in the French Alps now. Um, things get dealt with really well, they're a very personable company um, and that's just, that's just the way it is, you know, it's, it's a brilliant company to work for. So usually I'm in work for 7 o'clock, I cook breakfast for it to be ready at 8. Um, then the cakes go in the oven and we start prepping for the evening meal. Let's clear up breakfast. Um, then it's a clean up of the chalet, go around the rooms, lay out afternoon tea and go skiing for a good few hours. I'll be back in the chalet at 5.30 to prep supper. Um, we sit down with the guests which is always really lovely to interact with them. Kind of, you know, if they're a big family it's nice to be included and you know, they want to know all about you and it's nice to know all about them. With Ski Beat you're expecting that little bit more from the host, you're wanting a, a better holiday and so when you arrive, when those things are there, you're kind of like, oh! This is great, it's all here. Coming somewhere like this, you're getting a better quality of holiday and you already know you're going to when you arrive, so you're happy. <laughs> um, I think there's a real mixture of people who haven't skied, who have skied. There's lots of families that come out of different generations, which is really nice to host them. Like I'll have one week of 11, like a big family, and then the next week it'll be couples, and then the next week it'll be a big lads holiday. Every week is different, which is nice because you don't know what to expect. <laughs> uh, I had a group last week who've been with us 15 times, um, 10 times to La Plan in particular. I feel so much part of the Ski Beat family that we actually got engaged in the Ski Beat Chalet and now Chalet host not only ran around early one morning to find a bottle of champagne on our departure day so we could celebrate, but also came to the wedding and it's, it's part of our family now. You need to have lots of energy, you need to really enjoy the company of other people and obviously be passionate about the company and enjoy the ski. Prep is key, try and get as much done in the morning as you can do. Uh, so when you come back in the evening you've got a lot of time to spend like some talking to your guests and enjoying yourself. Oh, I expect to work hard but yeah to get stuck in and get involved with the guests and ski life it's a yeah it's, it's a great old quick feeling. Have an afternoon nap. <laughs> That's my advice. Is take a nap when you can. You're gonna be very tired <laughs> and you're gonna get poorly, but you'll get over it and you're gonna make so many friends for life out here and it's such a nice environment and such great yeah, skiing and everything. <laughs>